The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 221 pounds, C.M. Punk. Here we go, and it sounds to me like the crowd is more than ready for this one. So am I, Michael. I've been looking forward to this match for a long, long time. And I'd be remiss if I didn't at least mention the high level of respect with which he competes. And it really is so refreshing, Michael. I wish more superstars had the same level of respect that he clearly has. And his opponent, accompanied by Zelina Vega from Gomez Palacio, Durango, Mexico, weighing in at 215 pounds, Andrade! Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for one-on-one -on -one action. And Michael, it sounds to me like this crowd already picked the one who they want to win this match. Intensity, explosiveness, uncanny athleticism, and a temper that just won't quit. All of these characteristics define Andrade. Perhaps we'll see them all here tonight. And I can't help but get the feeling that this is going to be one of those matches people will be talking about for a long time to come. Setting up. Looks like a sit-up powerbomb. Hand chop. Whoa, not so fast. Oh, nasty impact. Neck breaker. Back into the ring. Hook them. DDT. Stomp it away. Boom, right over the ear, the ends of Gary. He's executing on his plan perfectly. No need to maintain that aggression. Ha! Making him pay. Boom! A drop kick on the mark. An early pin attempt. 
Plenty of fight left. It's going to take more than that. I feel like Andrade is one of those superstars that, as soon as he showed up here in WWE, all the superstars in the back started talking about him. I've heard superstars talk about the lore of Andrade on more than one occasion backstage. I can only imagine how things are in the locker room with his ego. Well, the whispers about Andrade are soon to be turned into the screams of the WWE Universe. The guy is sensational. He can have as much ego as he wants. Spin kick to the midsection. Oh, kick right in the gut. This match is being televised around the world in 18 languages and in over 110 countries. For Andrade, I think it's also worth noting that he has proven himself as more than just hype in such a relatively short time in WWE. The lore surrounding him, as you said, Byron, and his ego also come with a spectacular high-flying and technical game. El Idolo is the full package, and every WWE superstar knows that, whether they want to admit it or not. Don't expect a lot of mercy to be shown here. Oh, look out, guillotine locked in deep. And the referee starts his 10 count. Look at this. Snap suplex. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable oh. athleticism. This match is brutality starting to show on him. Yeah, he's looking off his Six. game now. No, another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to Seven. give an inch here. Swinging neck breaker. Carefully measured knee drop. Eight. Back in from the floor. Wow, that was close. Come on, he knew what he was doing the whole time. Watch out! Running Bulldog! Gets out of the way, and fast. Great agility there. Side rush and leg sweep. Slam. Leg drop across the throat. Ha, making it pay. Caught off guard. Boom, Samoan driver. He's going for the pin. And another kick out. Wow, what a display of heart and determination. There he goes, crashing to the floor. One. Two. What a match. Tough spot to be in. Okay, oh, right to the midsection. And finds a counter. Load over, nice, DDT. Track. Here we go. Anaconda Vice is in. Andrade could be close to tapping out here. Will he submit? I can't imagine. It sits in. He got him to tap out. If Andrade was looking for a time to be tranquilo, this was not it.
nicely done. He picks up the win. Now, oh, this is the kind of loss I thought Andrade put in his past. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action.